I can't. I feel like I've been saying for a while, like, I'm gonna get surgery, I'm gonna get surgery. And, like, now that it's finally here, I'm like, oh, I'm getting surgery. I'm heading over to Beverly Hills to get a consultation for my mommy makeover. Okay, so, we're gonna just evaluate in the mirror. On the day of surgery, we'll do some markings to show you guys the actual blueprint. We'll really work with and snatch, but we're gonna have to do some reshaping. We're gonna do 360 lipo. I want them smaller, if that mm -hmm. makes sense, but round. But so, per cure? Like two little grapefruit. Okay. <laughs> Next time you guys see me on here, I will have my surgery. Mommy, everything goes smooth, and you go home happy and Thank make you us mama. happy. Thank you, mama. Okay? I love you. Be brave. I know you are brave. I know that. I love my mommy. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, my babies. Look, look, look. Kai, Kai, Kai. Kai, look, look, look. I love you. I love you, my Kai, Kai. Look at you. Kai, do the same. Love you, Bobo. Bye, Bobo. I ate. I wish. I wish everything will be okay. I ate lots of dates last night. That's good. I ate like three dates. That's good. Yes. That's good. I love you, Bobo. Okay. Hello. Take a care of Do my babies. Do you want something? Food? Something? I can't eat before. I'm no, hungry. after, after. I just want your. You want my parents do that, make great that soup. dates for you. That <gasps> dates I did. Oh, my postpartum dates. My yeah. dad would fry dates yeah, with yeah, like yeah, butter. Yeah. So okay, all everything I sucked out, you're gonna put back in. 100% I will do that. <laughs> We're about to drive over to the surgery center guys. This is what I'm wearing. They tell you to wear something that buttons up or zippers up and that's loose and comfortable. So I'm actually just wearing my pajama set. Good morning you guys. It is surgery day. Did you think you were on camera too? I do. I know, Mel like sprang up his head. I'm like, nah, I just put it on me. But yeah, guys, today is surgery day. It is September 18th, Monday, September 18th. My surgery is at noon, but they had me come in at 10 a.m. So we actually got here a little early for once. Babe, we're early. Can you believe it? I can believe I'm early. High five. So. But yeah, you guys saw this morning, I just had to shower with that one soap. It's called Hippocleanse. It just kills any like bacteria on your body so I washed my body with that and then I'm just wearing my jammies like I showed y'all I said bye to everybody I said bye to my parents I said bye to the babies and now we're heading into Dr. Gabami's office any last words for me babe mm. I'm just sending you positive energy I know everything's gonna be good so I'm not stressing out I love you babe I love you too yeah guys I know my family's gonna take good care of me so Mel is going to come to the recovery center later tonight. Mm -hmm. So they'll text you when they're ready for you to come. And Mel can like vlog for you guys because probably I'll be out of it. So mm. Mel will keep you guys updated. We can always count on. Yeah. Mel, let's go. All right. It's time. I literally stood in front of Mel naked this morning and I'm like, say goodbye, babe. Oh my God. It's too hard to say goodbye. Aww. I miss you. Yeah. It's the bot that gave me three kids. You're so sweet, baby. Let me just say one thing, guys. These men love a good mom bod. That is true. They love it. Guys, it feels so funny walking on the street right now in my pajamas. I wish it was socially acceptable to just wear this everywhere. It's so comfortable. Don't show my, my flip flops. Four, seven. What's up, y'all? We're in Dr. Gavami's office now. I just went into the pre-op room, so I'm gonna meet with Dr. Gavami one more time, and I just changed into my little robe. Yeah, here's my little robe, you guys. Mel's just chilling with me, being a supportive husband. Uh-huh, you know. One of our favorite patients, I got two cameras here. Nas is here, three kids, busy mom. 
She's ready to get her body back to where it can be. She's amazing because she actually does the hard work. She does hot Pilates. And we're gonna get her doing some weights soon after this because that really helps the hamstrings hold the butt up. So let's go and look at the roadmap of what we're gonna do. So she had a BBL back in the day. And you can see here, there's some areas when you gain weight and yo-yo from pregnancies, you can see exaggerations of some of the cannula marks. So my goal is to kind of smooth all of these out. We're gonna get her basically to look like she has a filter 24 seven on her body. I'm gonna snatch her waistline in and upstairs we're gonna go ahead and remove obviously the undergarments so I can really mark her properly. But if you notice, there's a little more volume here and this one sinks in. The reason for that is we all have a hip tilt. There's always one side of the body that's developed to be taller and one bone that sticks out more. So we have to compensate for that by doing differential liposuction differential fat augmentation to try to even it out. Symmetry is never a goal in life or the human body, but we always try and we definitely don't want to exaggerate any asymmetries. She has a little bit of a roll here, a little roll here, and now you can see she's a little bit bottom heavy here, so I'm going to do what I call an anti-gravity butt lift. Honestly, having three kids, and I know you had twins, this area bounced back really nice. So her genetics already is just good. And she's done the hard work with her Pilates. Doing the hot Pilates I think helps your skin too. Mm -hmm. So the fact that it's hot helps. I'm gonna try things like that, but I'll probably pass out. <laughs> we'll see, let's see how my resilience is. It can't be after a long OR day, that's for sure. <laughs> so what we do with the anti-gravity butt lift, and this happens once you've had a larger buttock naturally or a BBL, when you see the buttock from the side, you'll see the top is usually deflated a little bit and it comes here because gravity wants to bring it down just like a breast. So we're gonna lift up, volumize the top and support the bottom and then get rid of these so that her thighs don't touch and rub when she's walking around all day. One of the things I found in the past like seven to eight years is one of women's favorite parts for me to lipo is actually their arms. Getting definition in the arms is everything to women, and I get it. So this area, if you look at it, it's so full, especially when we squeeze in. So you can see some of this is gonna be core muscle work, so she's not completely out of the woods for possibly needing muscle abdominal tightening with the rectus abdominis muscles being placated inward like an internal corset or internal waist trainer. But what we're gonna do is liposuction and create some high definition here, because her skin, elasticity will allow that and that's going to actually make the tummy tuck more guided in the future if she ever needs it so we're going to go ahead and define these areas you can see how this is already snatched really nice right there let's turn it to the side see that little shadow now go ahead and suck in a little like we talked about beautiful this crepey area here a little bit above this it's because of a piercing right yeah yeah a lot of people have that so we'll do some morpheus postoperatively for her we'll do three sessions or so and try to get this crepey skin a little tighter we're gonna get this lower abs. I'm not gonna go ahead and take all her fat out. I see a lot of people, especially in other countries, do that. When they come back here to the States, they always need a revision. You have lumpy, bumpy. It's hard to get every bit of fat cell out and it's not normal for the skin to not have some fat behind it guidance. Remember, what determines good liposuction, especially HT, is not what you take, it's where and what you leave behind. Hang that down, give me some good pumps open and close. Just drop it way down low. So I'm going to slip in a little IV, we just use a little pediatric size for this, that's all we need. And obviously for anesthesia, you'll be off to sleep, it's general anesthesia, sort of light to medium general, but it, it's general. So, uh, and you may remember from prior experience, the way we do that is by giving you medicine in the IV, as well as some little inhaled anesthesia vapor, both of those things together will send you off to sleep. After you're completely asleep, I'll place a breathing tube that goes in the mouth, normal for general anesthesia. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, I feel it. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> but that'll sort of numb things up a little for mm -hmm. you. Right. Awesome. Yes. Uh, I'm just trying to hear. If you're going to go this way, that's what I put on. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you when I'm snatched. <laughs> What's up you guys? I am at the recovery center, well the hotel room I guess I should say. Um, my nurse just stepped out but guys she is such a sweetheart. I honestly feel like 
she's part of my family so she just stepped out real quick but mel is here with me he just got here it's good guys i don't know what time exactly i got out of my surgery but it's 8 p.m now i got here at 9 p.m you got out of your surgery like 6 45 oh really and then you went to recovery for an hour they picked mm. you up at like 8 oh yeah 8 15. i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm not in any pain obviously i'm in pain but you know when the pain is worth it <laughs> I mean, you guys can just see the girlies are sitting, okay? Like, look at that. What do you think, babe? That's good. So, guys, we ended up going with the fat transfer. At first, Dr. Gavami was like, let me see when I'm doing the surgery, whether you need a fat transfer or not. And they did transfer fat to, like, the... To give me some like cleavage and that's the one thing i was upset about no i don't want to say upset i liked my previous breast lift too but i didn't get i got that natural teardrop shape which is cool but i wanted the you know cleavage so i got that with my own fat i didn't want implants i'm in my full body faha y'all and then i also have a catheter in and then also i got my arms light bulb which is why i'm wearing that like long sleeve <sighs> I take my next dose of medicine at 10 at 11 30 she said 11 30 oh baby that last half hour is gonna be hard I'm not gonna lie mm -hmm. I'm probably I just FaceTime mama and baba I FaceTime Yasmin I caught them all up so I'm just gonna probably I'll FaceTime a few other Can friends I call Danny she just texted me Danny, yeah Danny just texted me so I'm gonna call her but yeah guys I did it mm -hmm. What's good, you guys? I just wanted to say my piece. I don't think I've said like my opinion on it on camera. Obviously, you guys know I support my wife and whatever she does. If she's happy, I'm happy. She likes it, I love it. So she's happy, she feels good. That's all I'm worried about. I kind of had to be the rock, obviously, because her parents were at home like freaking out every hour. They're like asking me for updates and stuff. So I'm like, you know, being calm, being positive. Didn't want to feed her any negativity even going into it like this morning she's like you, you're not like saying anything like you're gonna like i'm like i'm not gonna act like i'm all nervous and like give that energy you know i wanted to be like the rock for her the rock for her family and you know for our kids so i kept telling kk she's all right i to go pick up mommy i know mel when he gets quiet that's his little scorpio show when he gets quiet yeah you know i think about it obviously i've had like months and months to think about this i kind of was a lot more like showing my nerves like the first time around but then when it got canceled and you know obviously i don't know I, we again, have lived a lot of time in marriage yeah this. like i i've been thinking about this for months so it's here and hearing about it for yes months. and hearing about it for months there's been this pile of clothes in our laundry room she has like off to the side that she's like this is for after i get my body done so <laughs> now that pile can finally be put to use so she can wear these <laughs> items so again as long as she's happy i'm happy I'm here, um, you know, just here to vlog and see how she is for a little bit. Mom and Bob are at home tired already, so I'm going to go relieve them in a little bit once she uh, dozes off. So, glad I'm I could come see her. Buddy. I mean, of course you're tired. Your body went really through a lot. Either. But, yeah, so I'm just going to relax for a little bit until she falls asleep. Babe, so the ambulance people, they came in through the back door. So they kind of came in like through the like recovery area that I was in and the poor nurse thought I fell out of my bed. She like scrambled in the room because she sees movement. Oh, like, in I'm there, like she what? No, she didn't know they were coming through the back. So she sees like movement. She's like, oh my God, I thought it fell. Oh my gosh. Nas was transported on a gurney, guys. Yeah. Good thing her parents didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, the guys, they brought me here through ambulance. And thank God it was late at night. And also with the hotel, babe, they have like another entrance that they bring you in. Wow. So, you know, the paparazzi can't get me, you know. Can you imagine those, like, paparazzi pictures of, like, a celebrity? You just see them gurneyed out of a plastic surgeon's off. Yeah. Yeah, but we're here, guys, so I'm sure Nas will probably update you tomorrow, probably, right? Yes. So, Nas will see you tomorrow. I'm sure she'll have a lot more energy. Um, obviously, she's not going to be, like, mobile, but she'll have a lot more energy tomorrow, so. I love you, baby. I'll update you guys tomorrow. Um, they said that what your your appointments are like twelve thirty, so she won't be home till probably like three, probably around the time KK gets out of school. Guys, I'm so hungry and I basically have to eat just very soft foods right now. She gave me a yeah. banana protein, like a little protein, premier protein. But yeah, 
Oh. I was like, I want Good some. thing I didn't do my plan because I was about to order us in Bossa Nova, pick it oh, up. My I God, thought we was going to be watching movies tonight, but she, she needed to get some rest. So I guess I had to get food on my way back home. Here's the IV. It's her setup. Here's the room. I've always talked about staying at this hotel every time you drive past it because of the exterior. See, there's a highway right over there, so we always would drive past it. And it's a cylinder, but it's a nice room. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, and I am feeling good. I updated you guys. I don't think I updated you guys on YouTube, but I did on TikTok. I was waking up like every two hours just naturally from how I was sleeping. I had to sit up, obviously, because of the breast lift. But despite that, I actually still feel pretty well rested. And this is what I'm looking like this morning. I still can't believe these are not implants, you guys. Like, they look like implants. Again, this is all just fat transfer. And then we did the 360 lipo. I actually lipoed my inner thighs this time. And I have, like, foams right here. And guys, when I tell you my skin is so glowy right now, look at this. Maybe Dr. Vami gave me a facial. Who knows? <laughs> But guys, my skin since after the surgery has been so plump and glowy and soft. And it has to be because of the IV. So because of the IV, it's like good electrolyte, ba electrolyte balance. Rose was telling me, right? Electrolytes? Yeah, electrolytic yeah. balance. Yeah, it's good electrolytic balance. Um, so it's not just like water, you know, it's saline. So it just completely plumped and glowed my skin like what like look up close again i wasn't waking up in the night from pain it was just from just again sleeping uncomfortably because you guys know i'm a stomach sleeper somehow okay guys it is the day after surgery i am back at dr kabami's office and i'm doing good guys like you guys can see i'm like up i'm walking and yeah honestly guys i think because i got just a breast lift and a and lipo i think a tummy tuck because, you know, there's multiple things you can do for a mommy makeover, but a tummy tuck and implants are definitely a lot harder of a recovery. So I'm definitely hanging in there. You guys can see I'm just like super swollen everywhere. Sorry. So you have good sensation. That's yeah. good. Here you go. And then let's get fresh telfo. So this is how they're supposed to look day one. They always look tight, funny, and then they drop. Mm -hmm. So I want you to make sure this is as tight as can be. So like on the last fast behind and here to snub snub. Mm -hmm. And then um, you can do your first full shower. Your shower gel for six weeks is going to be HIBA cleanse. Okay. And uh, do you have that? Yeah, I do. Okay. And then you got the escrow pillow. Mm -hmm. And then the relocation here will take some time, but I want you to just make sure you have some compression. But I totally uh, made it not middle heavy put some at the top, a lot at the top, shaped you there, okay. snatched you more, evened you out, did a lot of work, and you have some good high def on your abdomen. So, sleep on my back, but if I'm just like laying down, lay on my side, like You can lay on your sides a little too, just okay. it helps to put a pillow between your um, arms and your okay. legs. Sometimes two pillows between your arms, two pillows between your legs. Oh, Let's get some lotion. Yeah. That looks so good. So these redness areas are normal. It's going to be a much more natural like, yeah. curve, and it's not going to be all here like it was. So wow. it's not going to be hanging. It looks amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much. And you're much. good at the gym, so like you're going to keep doing that. Okay. And your inner thighs, same thing. When you take your first shower, you put your garment back on. Mm -hmm. Make sure it's all the way up, because if it like stops here okay. and you have a gap, that gap will be a sausage of swelling. Okay. So just make sure it's all smooth, no creases. Check your garment throughout the day. Is there foam? There's foam there, right? Mm -hmm. There should be. Yeah. So yeah, so make sure it's all the way up. She's going to check that. Okay. You look good. Thank you so much. Do you have my cell? Wow. So just make sure, like, see how it's, like, yeah. where the pad stops, it's swollen. Mm -hmm. So we'll make sure it's vertical so the padding goes below that point. Okay. So you always have to shift your pads around. Okay. Or if you're ever in doubt, don't even wear pads. Okay. All right. Okay. Look at your butt from the side. I love I it. Know. Look at the lift. It looks Complete so relocation. Now, remember, it's about 20%. Everything's 20 to 25% larger than it's going to be from swelling. Okay. So it's all going to be a, a tighter version of what you have, yeah. including your waist. Wow. I'm so how you work like out will really show what you have. Yeah. Well, thank you so Take much. Take care, of course. 
And then this garment has a zipper, so you can always close it if you feel a little uncomfortable. So if you turn to the side just a little bit, this looks like an underwear. So okay. this is always going to go in like the underwear position okay. in your lower back. These are always going to go in the same area as well. So these are going to go long ways like this. Mm -hmm. And so you kind of see where there was an indentation where they were before. Okay. So you don't want to lay them in the same exact spot. You want to go either to the right or left or a little bit up or down. Do I still need this one? This? Oh, yeah. The Do you want the back closed? And then we're just going to grab the creases and pull up like this. Yeah, we can remove it. This underwear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes yeah. when you have surgery, it, um, your period comes a little bit early. So I thought that that's probably what happened. So if you don't have enough going on. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Hi, 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 Hello. Guys, I'm matching again. You guys are both wearing pink. You look excellent. I'm so happy. Aww. Welcome home. I miss your guys' food. Hi, Mooch. Look at Mama doing my time here. See? No, what you did surgery? You, you become bigger, huh? Tall, bigger, taller. <laughs> Believe me, you look taller. I look taller? Yes. Yeah. My parents have a nice soup waiting for me. So it feels good to get up and walk. Honestly guys, I feel better when I'm walking than laying down. So we're just in the backyard, just enjoying some fresh air and getting a few laps in.